Hey, it's DJ Mojo back with another video. Are you planning on getting married at Green Gables in San Marcos? Or are you looking for wedding venues down here in Southern California? Or are you just planning a wedding in general and you wanna get a better idea of what it's like to have a wedding? Stay tuned in this video. You'll be watching an epic wedding that I DJed for Gabby and Kenny at Green Gables in San Marcos. So this video is gonna be action packed with some dancing, you get in some tips for you to help you plan your wedding and get a better feel of what it's like to have a wedding and what it's like to have a DJ at your wedding and what it's like to have me as your maybe your potential DJ for your wedding day. So I'll be playing this clip of some fun highlights from Gabby and Kenny's wedding and I'll be stopping and playing the video to give you some commentary, some feedback, some insight of what you are seeing. But other than that, grab some snacks and let's watch this video of Gabby and Kenny's wedding at Green Gables. All right, here we are with the ceremony. So right now we're on the side of the building where the ceremony takes place. This is one option to have your ceremony here at Green Gables. The other location is at the gazebo. And I'm stationed right here from my point of view. I have one speaker set up to cover this whole space. And this is the ceremony right here. I love the song choices that they've picked out. Now, a lot of the times, music, it doesn't always have to be instrumental. It could be just a really nice love song that you enjoy, that you want to walk down to. This one was Snow Allegra's Do For Love. Great version of the original. This is Gabby, our bride. There's Kenny up in front. Good afternoon, everybody. We had someone close to them. I think that's the that's the father of the groom officiating the wedding. It's so nice to have people close to them to officiate. It makes it more personable and, and just really relate to everybody. The couple will now exchange rings as a symbol of the promises of marriage. Savi, will you please present Kenny with the rings? You may kiss the bride. Yeah. Mr. Really quickly, just right before they walk out, I've been modifying my ceremony setup. I usually just am off to the side. There is a lapel mic for the efficient, so he's hands-free. And then there's a, a handheld microphone for any vow. So it's a much cleaner setup without any mic stand. If you heard closely in the background, if you're having a wedding Green Gables, they ring the bell right right at this moment. So it's it's really nice to hear that at this epic part of the ceremony. Everyone enjoy yourselves. The cocktail hour is in the back. Yeah, so there we go. And then after the ceremony, in my planning form, I mean, every DJ is different. I usually just ask the couple if there's any other is if there's any other announcements that you would like the DJ to make after the ceremony is over. Sometimes it's really just letting people know to join us over at the cocktail hour. Sometimes it's letting and reminding the family members and the wedding party to stay at the ceremony site for pictures. So it's really nice. So. That way it's well coordinated while everyone is listening. They know exactly where to go, what to do, and, and who's involved for what. So that's what I did there. I grabbed the microphone and made a few announcements. And in the next clip, I actually DJ'd the cocktail hour, as you're about to find out. Cocktail hour is in the back. So this is Green Gables. This is the other ceremony location that you can get married but they chose the the side of the building right over there where the swing is at this whole place is a cocktail hour area guess where where we're just really exploring the venue space and to the right is where we have the main reception tent and uh, there's some few cocktail tables in front 
I thought that a lot of people will be up here, but I found out since they had a photo booth and and closer to the bar, most most of the time the people were hanging out by like or just in front of the tent. And my speaker, I was using my bass boss speaker and sounded really good with my BB15 sub and my SV9 top and it really covered the whole space so wherever people are they could hear some background music as they enjoy the cocktail hour this is a a fun remix of one dance by drake this is what i'm talking about here people are mostly hanging out here the bar is inside the tent people aren't exactly allowed to sit down just yet they just have access to the bar i believe that there is another option to have a satellite bar out here i could be wrong but check with the venue space all right so after the cocktail hour it is now time for the reception check out this setup inside the tent we have the photo booth inside we also have the dessert table on the back wall by the trees So check out this space. It is fairly big. I think it's just because of the, the high ceiling of the tent and the big dance floor in the middle. It is a big dance floor, so this is going to be great for large uh, wedding parties that, that love to dance. This is my setup right here with the white RCF Evox 12s with my party pillars and some moving headlights and some up lights around the tent. Check out this dance floor right here. From what I know, the dance floor doesn't change in terms of the size, it's just the way it is. These lights that I, I'm using right now, it's it's a scene in, in my lighting software where it's just really, the lights just move around. It creates some kind of low key energy while people walk in during dinner. It's just very subtle, but it, it's a nice production effect. And then this is my speaker right here, the Bass Boss BB-15 and the SV-9 on top. And I'm mixing music just to feel the vibe and, and really set the mood for a cocktail. <laughs> Playing some Amapiano music. You like the vibey kind of music. Available. If you want to take some pictures, the photo booth is now available inside the tent. I'm your DJ tonight. I'm DJ Mojo. We'll let you know when it's time to party and celebrate with the newlyweds. But in the meantime, enjoy yourselves here at Green Gables. Let's have a good time. So I made a quick announcement. I got a cue from the coordinator to make a quick announcement that the photo booth is ready and let people know about that. So I hopped on the microphone and you're about to see i had a little audience up in front who were appreciating the music and and what i just did shout out to to this crowd right here showing some love <laughs> And check that out. That's my TV screen right over here. This is my video DJ booth. So they have the option to give me some pictures and I can make a slideshow. Or sometimes even I go on their wedding website, grab a picture, and I just display it right over here. And people, really quickly, people are lining up at the bar. Let me see. Right here. So this is the bar that I'm telling you about. To the right, that's the stairs leading up. But since people aren't, they can only come in here for the drinks, but not take their seats just yet until it is time. But it's nice how there's a bar here. full. It's fully stacked right here if people want drinks. We're going to get the party started soon. I'm the DJ tonight. I'm DJ Mojo. First of all, all of you look amazing here tonight. Let's top it up for yourselves for being here as we celebrate Penny and Gabby here tonight. I want to welcome in the pairs of the girl. Make some noise for Julie and Dennis Lopez. Hey, hey, let's go. So this is the grand entrance. We lined up everybody outside, and this is just me just grabbing everyone's attention and, and really getting everyone settled in because everyone's moving around. They're, they're, they're just 
slowly trying to get everyone's attention for the grand entrance. And right before we welcome everybody in and make sure that everyone is ready to receive the people. And the first set of people who were to come in were the parents. And I, since the song was Stomp and it has a good backbeat, I had everyone participate by clapping. Here we are. <laughs> this is great. That's right. Sit those feet right now and clap those hands. Clap, clap. So it's really good. We were playing some music for them. We got sponsors coming in as well. <laughs> Last but not least, a six foot. So this is really fun. The, the groom wanted me to introduce the groomsmen in a particular way with the Chicago Bulls, the basketball team theme song, the Alan Parsons Project. And he gave me a script, and this is a, a part of what I said. For a bugger from the Bay, California, he can cut you up on and off the basketball court. The middle child, <laughs> there he is. Check this out. So we had the groomsmen come in first. It's very hyped right now. And now, everyone, let's all make some noise and join me in welcoming our bridal party. Now this is the, the crazy in love homecoming version right here. We have the bridesmaids coming in. This was pretty epic. This gets everyone pumped up for the bride and groom. <laughs> that was really cool. So what happened here after the, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids come in, I invited everyone to join us on the dance floor to receive the couple. So I, I love the fact that there was a, a, a dance performance that really helped bring the energy to another level. And this is it's another form of entertainment. So I got everyone around. We made a U shape so that way there's enough space for the couple to come in and get everyone hyped up on their feet and really get them excited. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. So what happened here was like, we just continued with some more dancing, which was really good. So after they came in with a Drake's Best I Ever Had, I switched into a, a, a little dance set. Now this was pre-planned by the couple and this is something that we discussed. So whenever the couple gives me some suggestions, I, I we, we collaborate together and think of more ways to make it more fun. And I gave some, some suggestions on the song choices and what songs are gonna be played during this quick mini dance set. But this is a great way to elevate it even more since we already had people on the dance floor. Why not continue with something more fun and energetic? So we got, we got this whole dance floor filled up right now. There we go, and my lights react to the music as well. Check this out, and they're hyping up the bride and groom. <laughs> Yay, there we go, there we go. Hands up, hands up. Jump, 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 jump. Hey. <laughs> there we go. That was fun, that's fun. And after Be Faithful, I switch into This Is How We Do It. This was my last song before we had everyone take their seats. Well, let's clap it up for Gabby and Kenny right now. This is how we do it. Well, friends and family, let's have the dance 
floor clear because in just a few moments. Yep, and then we're going to have the first dance. So it's really good to make sure everyone is at their seats, everyone gets settled in before we continue with the next formality, which is the first dance. The so videographer, photographers are getting into position to really capture this moment. <laughs> They're hyped. Here's the thing. You want to focus yourself on the dance floor. We're going to invite them over there. You're about to witness the first dance. And if you're feeling the love here tonight, take out those cell phones, turn on those flashlights, and wave it side to side. Let's show some love. I've been waiting my whole life to find someone like you. Find someone like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so we had dinner and speeches and all that now you get to see some fun dance clips from the wedding night <laughs> and then eventually they they turn off or lower down their light so now it's just my up lights that's creating the vibe Hey. <laughs> so whenever I, I play this song, I like to give clear directions because sometimes they don't know where the windows, they don't know where the wall's at. So before the hook or the chorus, I let them know for the purpose of the song, the windows is the DJ booth. <laughs> so so that's what I did, and it, it's great. So everyone's hopefully coordinated and point at the DJ booth. And that's the thing here about this venue space. Normally, I like to be like a, like right next to the dance floor but based on this layout i had to be off to the side i'm glad that i'm not in the corner corner of the room i'm somewhat close to the dance floor so people can see me i have good vision of the people there and can uh, feel their their reaction hear their their noise and, and you really get build that connection so you never want to place your dj off in the corner unless you can't help it but people whenever they they dance they want to see who's in control of the music and visibly it's nice to have the dj as close to the dance floor as possible but this is a a good spot for me in terms of this venue space for me to to dj at green gables see if you notice they were looking at me right to the dj booth they, they know where i'm at so um it's really good to establish that control early so people know who the dj is where he is at and all of that Hey, let's go, let's go. I'm <laughs> See, check out this strobe effect. That's, that's, and it's so nice when, when the lights react to the music. That's something that I provide just to really make it pop. And whenever there's some epic drops, epic chorus of the song, lights into the music is elevates the experience so much, so much more. And thanks to Sound Switch, which is the, the lighting software that I use to create to to make this happen hey i wish i recorded my set i i don't i don't think i recorded this one this, this was a good set i did a song transition right here we painted out some some foam sticks did a song transition to calabria Hands up, hands up. Hey. <laughs> this is the cha-cha slide right here. Now, I normally don't play line dances, but it really depends on um, what's expected. I know this was like a, a Filipino Latin wedding, and I know my Filipinos, we love line dances. So talk with your DJ whether you allow them, depending on what it is. Um, and let the DJ know if you don't want any at all. So it really depends on the use case. I mean, every wedding is different. And uh, just make sure you communicate that with your DJ on whatever you know that you like or or even your guests will like or appreciate it. So uh, not to say that line dances are going to dominate the night. It's really just sprinkled in there whenever it feels right. So talk to your DJ about it. They should know when to drop it. So um, it gets the, the reaction that we're looking for. 
But in this case, check this out. Everyone's dancing. This was the, the right time and moment to drop the song. Hey, everybody clap your hands. You see that? Check this out. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool with the strobe. The epic moments. Trying to mimic the, the claps, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, this was a good edit. Soak City to Left Right by YG. Yeah. So, so I played Soak City um, right after Cha Cha Slide. I have this really good edit to transition into this moment. So I went from like a line dance slide, line dance song into a hip hop track. Check out the lights, man. I don't know, I love lights. I don't know about you, but they make a huge difference. Because imagine if you don't have any lights at all, you'll just have the, the it'll just be dark. Usually the venue will turn off the chandelier lights and it will just be dark. So we need some kind of lighting effect. Now, there could be some random light. It could be, there could be lights that randomly change, but it, 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 it's not as an elevated experience compared to when it's actually synced to the beat. So uh, just a small difference. I don't know if that matters to you, but to me, I'm trying to create an experience for my couples. And I believe that not only do I play good music, but I also want to to have a good light show to kind of give that that feeling where not only do guests hear the music, but in a way they could see it through the lights and how it matches with the song, how it matches with the energy. They also love some reggaeton, <laughs> so I play this song. <laughs> Let's go, Gabby. Got lots of single ladies on the dance floor. Let's see who's gonna win the bouquet. <laughs> so I normally give them a countdown. So on the count of three, they, they toss it. And usually photographers are gonna ask the bride to, to do a fake throw. Basically, they pretend to throw it and just hold that pose for a little bit longer. And then just to get the, the shots. And then after that, the next one is the real deal. But I think in this case, she actually did throw it for real. Here we go. <laughs> and then we have a winner. And then we're switching, we're transitioning into the, the God removal and the God or toss. <laughs> Go, Kenny. Hey, don't, don't worry. This, this is this, this whole video is PG, so you're you're good. You're good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so then after this part, we're gonna invite all the single men. So <laughs> I think Kenny just just went for it. He didn't wait for my cue, but. Uh, he just tossed that Goddard and see who catches that thing. He's ready. <laughs> it's like one, two, three. <laughs> and then we continue with some more dancing after the the Goddard the Goddard removal and the toss. There we go. <laughs> I got I gotta play something more current, you know what I mean? Something more more lit. This is a good throwback right here. Oh, this is a good song. I love the song. This was my last song shot for me by Drake, but then uh, the couple wanted one last song to end the night with, which you're about to, to hear and find out. 
but usually when you do a, a last song, you want everyone to to know it and sing it. <laughs> well, this was the last song of the night. Huh. Man. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a wrap for Gabby and Kenny. All right, and that's it. So that was Gabby and Kenny's wedding. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, that was epic. Um, man, that was it, it was a good set. I played some reggaeton, some Latin, some hip hop, and and it was really just a party mainly for the couple and their friends. Um, if I remember correctly, they had another wedding celebration, mostly with family, but they wanted something that's really just tailored for them, and that's what we did here. They gave me a great song selection of of music, and I was really just trying to feel the vibe, and I collaborated with them, and just I creatively inserted some some songs that I know will work well with um, the overall vibe and energy of the night. But that, that was a super fun wedding. I really love the the grand entrance, the creativity with that, and the dance number from the bridesmaids. And it's those little touches that really makes an, a, an, a wedding night just, just, just that much more memorable. It's a lot of thought and intention to see how else can we make it more fun? How else can we make it more exciting? And, and emotional even if you want, but it's really up to you on, on however you wanna craft your wedding night and working with a DJ who knows how to make that happen, not only take your ideas, but, but really collaborate with you to really take it to the next level, help you think of ideas that you haven't thought of before. That's all gonna be important when planning your wedding day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you take a lot of value out of this. I'm gonna leave down some playlists down below of me DJing at some, some of the other wedding venues down here in Southern California, whether it's in San Diego, trademark venues. And I'll also leave socials in case you wanna follow me and a link in case you want to have a conversation with me and potentially hiring me for your wedding. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Congratulations to to you, Gabby, Kenny, if you're watching this video, thanks for having me. It's been a blast and um, hope to see you guys in my next videos. But in the meantime, check out this playlist here and up here. I'm DJ Mojo. Catch you later.